Let's get a look at our forecast one more time. It's our top story here tonight. Um, Lonnie, the winds are still whipping outside. You betcha. And that's one of the concerns that we still have on the table. First of all, the east end still getting rain. Big bouts of rainfall still out around the Twin Forks. I'll show you that. The winds like Christine Johnson is talking about, they remain strong overnight. We have now expanded that high wind warning until 6 o'clock in the morning. It may get extended into portions later than that. Morning high tide cycle is going to bring back some flooding. Currently, the coastal flooding is in the process of receding. Tide's going out, right? Comes back in the morning. So uh, be careful with that and keep that on the front of your mind. The rivers, they're slow to react. They're only going to get worse. In fact, I don't think some of our rivers are going to peak until probably Friday or maybe even linger, linger possibly into Saturday. So here's what we currently have. We talk about how the east end is catching the heaviest rain right now. Look at this. This is all going to be moving over the same areas. Now, it does want to move east and northeast, so it may just clip Montauk, but there's a chance that goes right over the Twin Forks. We got some activity around Philadelphia as well, so we keep in these bouts of rain while you're sleeping out there. But overall, by the morning hours, the heaviest rain, it, that's behind us. If anything, in the morning, may have some snow flying around out there. But this is what we're looking at. Right now around Atlantic City, you see some thunderstorms out there. That's going to be crawling right through the Jersey Shore, making its way up to the north. And look at that batch of thunder and lightning offshore, as I said, moving toward the east end of Long Island two to maybe three hours of these bouts of rain coming through while you're sleeping right now. All right, let's get right to the concerns and the advisories and the alerts. Coastal flood warnings and coastal flood advisories because that wind, I showed you how strong that was, 46 mile per hour gusts in the city right now, coming in off the water, pushing two to three feet of additional water above its typical levels on shore. That's moderate to maybe even some spots experiencing major. It would be isolated, but some major flooding is possible at the coast. It's all because you get six to 10 foot waves churning everything up out there. High seas, widespread flooding. We've already seen that. Vulnerable areas like shoreline roads, low lying lawns are going to flood. Beach erosion, overwash, it's happening. I, I, we wrote likely, but now it's happening, so you know it's out there. And then the Thursday morning high tide looks to be problematic once again. Look what our rivers are going to do. Now I'm going to step this way so you can see everything. Thing. We are at moderate flood stage by the time we get to, I'll say, Thursday afternoon all the way into Saturday for the Passaic River at Pine Brook. If you look at Little Falls, hey, you are into minor flood stage by Thursday afternoon, and we keep you there until Saturday. So let's pull up the numbers here for you. 50 degrees for your day tomorrow. It's not a great day, but we've improved. One thing we didn't talk about, early tomorrow morning, you've got a winter weather advisory north of New York City, Sullivan, Ulster, Dutchess, Litchfield County. You could have some slick spots out there with possibly a couple inches of snow. 51 degrees on Friday. They're playing baseball. It's not great weather, all right? There is a slight chance for some showers, but uh, it's playable. It's just cold. Yeah. The nice weather awaits for the end of the weekend into next week. Can't wait. Thank you. Okay.